monitor this for us. But in the meantime, let's go over to Craig Herrera. Um, these are certainly a uh, very dangerous mm -hmm. time for firefighters, times for firefighters. We are in fire season, got a lot of dry brush out there, and we've got some winds kicking up too out in that area. Yeah, you're right. And Elson Peter, what I want to point out with this as well, our radar can actually pick up the smoke when there's that much smoke. You can see the radar lit up, not from rain, from, from smoke. So I went in for a tighter version to see where this fire is and a lot of the smoke. Again, the wind coming in out of the west, so it's pushing a lot of this off to the east. As far as Pigeon Pass Road you were just talking about, it's this little windy road through right in through here. So you can see where uh, a lot of the smoke is in that general area. And again, that green that you see is not rain, it's the smoke. So the radar can pick up those fine particles and show you the direction that the smoke is going. The thicker smoke is indicated by the darker green. The lighter smoke is where it's starting to thin out as it's, the winds come up and it really fans out and heads off to the east. Temperature, as you were just talking about, a concern. We're at about 87 degrees. That's actually a little bit cooler than it has been in the past few days. Nonetheless, it's still very hot out there. The wind has been coming in sustained out of the west at 12 miles per hour. The gusts that we've seen in the last 15 minutes have been about 12, but I've seen those go up between 12 and 15. Humidity is big, big is what we look at when we're looking at fires. We're looking at temperature, humidity, and wind speed. So humidity is up. That is helping us up uh, a little bit this afternoon, 36%. With the wind coming in out of the west, the marine layer thickens up tonight. So I know they're getting a good, you know, trying to fight this fire. But as we go through the overnight hours, we're going to see this number go up quite a bit. And that will help them as well as the temperatures drop as we've got a good sea breeze starting to pick on up. But as you can see, when you've got that much smoke, Elson Peter, boy, it really pops up on the radar as well. And you can see where that smoke is headed off to the east. We'll send it back to you. All right, Craig, thank you.